All right, so I picked up the most beat up, just dirty Charter Arms Bulldog 44 Special I could find. If you look here, you can see this thing looks like it fell out of somebody's holster or something going down the road. It's pretty beat up. Let's see if I can get this to focus. What my goal is with this, a bunch of you asked about the Charter Arms Bulldog 44 and the 45 when we got into a topic on snub nose big bore calibers. Um, people wanted to know what I thought. I had the original Charter Arms Bulldog 44. Uh, mine was made in the 70s. If I ever find another one, I will snatch it up. Great gun. Should have never got rid of mine. Charter Arms got bought out or went out of business, but it ended up being Charco Arms. And I knew three different people that bought Charco Arms guns. And they, I shot them. They were crappy. Their quality was crap and all that. Now, Charter Arms has been bought out apparently by some of the same people that were in the original Charter Arms. And they say the quality is better and this and that. I don't know. Um, this gun is so beat up and that that I'm going to go through it. I'm going to refinish it. I'm going to try and fix as many of the, the dings and banged up spots as I can. I'll show you guys all of that. Um, I'm going to replace all the springs. The timing seems to be good, but I'm going to check everything out. So this isn't going to be a review because I wouldn't feel right saying, yeah, it's a great gun or no, it's a bad gun because I'm going to have to go through it. It's just beat to crap. Um, I did reach out to Charter Arms and they said they would send me a 45 Bulldog to do a video with and then send it back. But unfortunately, I don't know what happened, but it's been three weeks and I ain't heard nothing back. So I'm assuming like a lot of companies or a lot of businesses, a lot of people nowadays, um, what they say don't always mean that that's what's going to happen. So I'll take you guys for a long or along for the ride on this project as I get going on it. But uh, I mean, how bad does it got to be? for a stainless steel gun to have rust on it so this should be pretty interesting when uh it's done to see how it shoots and all that and like i said i'll take you along through the whole process but i picked this up because literally i paid less for this than you can buy a brand new high point for and even replacing all the springs and that in it with wolf springs I shouldn't have that much in this. It should still be less than the price of a new high point. And I'll have a 44 snub nose, and you guys know I love my revolvers, especially my snub nose revolvers for EDC concealed carry. Uh, talk to you guys soon.